safely today as every day. <laughs> Thank you, um, I'm glad that you were able to be here because you're so instrumental and so lovely success creating the social media posts on Facebook and Instagram. We thank you for that. You're very welcome. Yeah. And um, so we just want to know more about you as a quilter. Okay. What do you want to know? Well, first of all, what three words would you use to describe your quilting style? Um, colorful. <laughs> mm -hmm. As evidenced by this lovely quilt that was on display. Um, I think it's somewhat random, although it's not random in my head. Uh huh. Um, and free. Colorful, random, and free. I'm making notes of those. Excellent. <laughs> I definitely see that. I love this quilt of Frida. Um, this was on display in our 2020 customer quilt show, which I thought was fabulous. So where do you find the inspiration other than Frida Kahlo? Sort of everywhere. Lately it's been a lot of poetry and music. So the latest inspiration is Florence Welch from Florence and the Machine. Ugh, I love her. And yeah, dog days are over. And so I'll be doing a dog days quilt That's in 2022. Awesome. And, Jen, <laughs> and Jen Saki, who is President Biden's communications person. And what I like about both Jen and, or what drew, there are a lot of things that draw me to Jen Saki, but how it, how she relates to Florence is her hair. Uh -huh. I, I'm in love with their changing red colored hair. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, I love Florence and the Machine too, Dog Days of Summer. I was inspired to go like learn horseback riding when I heard that because she really? said the dog days are coming, the horses are coming. And I was like, I better take horseback riding lessons. And then I, I did that for maybe two or three times. I'm like, mm, I don't enjoy this quite as much as quilting. So that was the end of that. That's funny. <laughs> so what hooked you on quilting? I think my mother, she sewed a lot when I was growing up. She made clothes for us, well, for me. And um, the first quilt I made was one for college that oh. lived a very long life until it had to be retired. Oh. And since when I moved down to the Northern Act about five years ago, I started quilting again. So, oh, awesome. Yeah. Cool. And it's a way to channel all the ideas in my head. Awesome. I have lots of ideas. I know. Yes. I know you do. I, yes, I know that. <laughs> You're the recipient of many. Yeah. So are you drawn to a particular color palette? As you know, I love pink. Pink. Yes, but I do. Um, I like warm colors more than cool colors, but I find myself using a lot of cool colors in quilts. Uh -huh. It's kind of odd. Yeah. I, I, I'm not quite sure why, but... We're near the water. Probably. But sort of in the random part of my head, it, it makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, are you a pattern or solids person? I am definitely a pattern person. I think we can tell yeah. that from this. I, yeah. When I look at quilts, though, I really admire solids. And I like the scrappy chevron quilt you've done using the low volume. Uh-huh. Because it provides space and room to breathe. And um, I really like that a lot. And I try. I just have a very hard time doing it myself. Okay. But I do like the look. I just, I'm not sure I can make something that's quiet. Yeah. We have to work. You have to do what works for you. So this obviously works for you. Yep. Well, speaking of working, what's the tool you can't really live without? Quilting. I actually think it's music and poetry lately. It's not a particular, I mean, obviously I can't make quilts without my sewing machine, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't be sewing if I didn't have ideas and right now like I said before there it's just all poetry and music that's cool um well we're in 2022 now yeah. so I'm sure you have big plans 
what are your quilty plans? So in addition to the um, Florence Welch quilts, I so that has already been designed in my head. The Jen Saki quilt will come. I have the fab, most of the fabric for it. I just don't know what the pattern's gonna be yet. Um, I'm also going to, I've got some commission quilts I'm working on and I want to do some, I've started a quilt based on a Patti Smith song. Um, oh, what song is that? It, how, I, I never get it right. People have the power. Is that the song? People, uh, I don't know. Okay. But we'll whatever it, it is. So I've started it and I have all the fabric for it. I just got waylaid. Okay. And, and then. Do, do you have a favorite um, fabric designer or manufacturer? I love Kaif, Allison Glass, Anne Maria Horner. Um, Modern, do, bright. Yeah. Okay. And, cool. and although those are much busier, but I'm also, I also really like the Carolyn Friedlander. And like, I think those, how do you pronounce your name, Carolyn? What is it? Freeland. Is it Freeland? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Um, I like her stuff too because okay. it's modern, but it's a little calmer so that it provides some contrast. Yeah. Well, when you buy your fabric, are you buying um, because you have a project in mind or are you building your stash? Both. Um, so for the Mary's birthday bash sale, I bought some red grunge uh -huh. that you had and that is actually going to be for the Florence Welch. Oh, well, cool. <clears throat> um and but then it's so it's a lot of project stuff and uh -huh. but you know sometimes I'm like, "Oh, I need some gray or I know I need some low volume blah just to have it and so I'll buy that if I see it on sale." Cool. Yeah. Well, we are very glad to have you here. It's so lovely. And I am always me. look forward to seeing you, see what you're creating, quilting them. So you give me free creative license in all your quilts, and I'm very thankful for that because it's very fun to pick different patterns to go with what you've created. And um, so do you want to say anything about your um, Etsy shop or what you've created? So, there? yeah, so I have an Etsy shop. It's called Blue Nose Creative Co. And I sell quilts that I make and my mom makes as part of Blue Nose Creative. And we have table runners like this one here with lots uh -huh. of little pieces. So I made a whole quilt out of one inch strips. One inch cut strips. Yeah. Wow. Um, various lengths. Yes. And it was about, probably, it was it about Frida's size? Yes, it was a good size. Yeah. All little one inch strips, it was amazing. And going different ways. And so that um, is going to be in, online or in the newsletter or on social or something, because I don't have that anymore. So that has found a new home. Okay, we'll have pictures of that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely see your style as scrappy, strippy little pieces little teeny weeny yeah pieces. I really it's a great way to use fabric it's a great way to get aggression out just sit at the machine <laughs> okay <laughs> we probably yeah one of the many ways yeah well, well right but yes. it's like I can just get in the zone and just sit and I could do this for I could make these one inch strip pieces for hours cool all right yeah. well just keep sewing I will so we will wrap it up there it's so good to have you thank you ma'am thank thanks you. for having me all right